All right. Welcome to, ma'am. Yeah. Welcome to running uh, ML Workloads with AWS Purpose-Built ML Accelerators and Ray. Uh, my name is Matt McLean, and I lead the Annapurna ML Solution Architecture team. So my team helps customers essentially move the ML workloads uh, onto AWS Training and Inferentia. So, uh, first of all, hands up. Anyone heard of uh, AWS Inferentia Training? Okay, got a couple. So we actually started this journey back in 2019. Uh, we launched our first purpose-built accelerator. It's called AWS Inferentia. Um, really offering the lowest cost inference for running uh, your workloads in the cloud, such as BERT models, ResNets, YOLOs. Uh, and we see customers uh, look, getting up to 70% lower cost uh, per inference compared to alternatives. So that was our first um, foray into the world of purpose-built accelerators. And essentially, we're built on, to, on this uh, sort of history. Uh, and we launched last year AWS Training, which is our second generation purpose-built accelerator for ML. Uh, essentially, training, you can uh, understand from the title, Training is designed for uh, ML training workloads, which are a lot more complicated than uh, inference. Uh, so we took a lot of that learnings from the inference and built it into the second generation. We also, earlier this year, launched AWS Inferentia 2, which is our second generation inference offering, our purpose-built inference offering. And both AWS Trainum and Inferentia 2 are really designed for your Gen AI workloads. So stable diffusion, LLMs are really the target sweet spot for these purpose-built accelerators. So let's have a look at then what comes under the hood, like what powers essentially these chips. So we have the Neuron Core architecture. Uh, so first uh, point is that this is not a GPU. Uh, this is uh, quite a different architecture. It's really purpose-built for deep learning uh, workloads. And it comprises of these various engines. I mean, the core of the um, accelerator is this tensor engine. So this does your matrix multiplications uh, and as well as other tensor kind of operations. We have a vector engine. This does things such as pooling, do your mean operations. We have a scalar engine. This does a lot of your activation functions like ReLU, uh, TANH, Sigmoid. And finally, we have a general purpose SIMD engine. Uh, so this allows you to actually bring your own program so you can basically code up operators in C++, and they run with uh, eight of these 512-bit processors uh, on the same core. All of these access the same uh, on-chip uh, SRAM, uh, as well as high bandwidth memory. So we offer these purpose-built accelerators through AWS uh, EC2 instances. So the first instance is the uh, tier end one instance, which is the powered by AWS Trainium. We offer this in three different types. Uh, the tier end one 2 extra large. This has one accelerator with two neuron cores, offering up to 32 gigabytes of HBM memory. Really good for kind of experimenting uh, for your data science doing experimenting uh, with different training workloads all the way up to the tier N1 32 extra large. Uh, so this has 16 accelerators and 32 uh, neuron cores and 512 uh, gigabytes of HPM memory. And then uh, offers 800 gigabits per second and up to 1600 gigabits per second of uh, network bandwidth. So this is actually four times more uh, than you can get with alternative accelerators on AWS. So these are really purpose built for uh, running your NLP and uh, workloads, training your NLP models, and offer up to 50% cost to train savings compared to uh, alternative EC2 instances. So if we look at Inferentia, uh, Inferentia is actually offered in four different, uh, think of it, SKUs. Uh, we have the extra large and the eight extra large. They both have one accelerator with two neuron cores, offering up to 32 gigabytes of HBM memory right up to the Info2 Fortad Extra Large. So this has 12 accelerators and 24 neuron cores um, and offers, for example, 100 gigabits per second networking, uh, 384 gigabytes of HBM memory. So these are really designed for your uh, generative, AI, generative AI inference. So for example, really good for running stable diffusion models, LLMs, uh, and which we'll see a little bit later, we'll give you a demo of how you can run an LLM with Racer. So we also support some of the latest models. So for example, Inf2, uh, you can run Llama 2. Uh, so here is some uh, benchmarking that we did running uh, Llama 2 on Inf2. Uh, and this shows you the two different instance types. 
So depending if you want to optimize for latency, uh, you know, you can run basically your Llama 2 model on the Inf248 Extra Large, you get really good uh, low latency. So we actually offer three times lower latency than other EC2 instances. And it can also be four times uh, lower cost to deploy these models. So here's a, a graph showing essentially the difference between uh, launching your Llama 2 model on the largest instance uh, and the smaller one, the Inf2 um, extra, 8 Extra Large. So we're, you're here at the Ray conference and you're asking, well, what does this have to do with Ray? Well, uh, I'm pleased to announce that from the Ray 2.7 release, we actually have native support for both AWS Infrentia and AWS Trainium within the Ray open source project. So starting at Ray 2.7, which I think was just released uh, the, um, very recently, which is part of uh, this conference, uh, you can natively deploy your Ray application and leverage the neuron cores uh, that I just mentioned. So it supports Ray Serve, uh, and you can easily define your uh, neuron cores in a cluster, uh, in actors, and also in tasks in your Ray cluster. Uh, it also includes auto scaling, so if you have to scale your uh, workers or your actors, uh, you can do that, uh, and it's built in natively. We're also working hard to support Ray Train, uh, so that will be coming in a future Ray release. So here's an example uh, of essentially running uh, a, um, uh, your uh, workload, leveraging uh, the neuron cores. So it's super easy. Uh, you can see in the Ray init, all you need to define is the number of cores that you need in your cluster. Uh, in this particular example, we are um, requesting for two uh, neuron cores in our cluster. And here also we've got a couple of examples of running both an actor uh, as well as a, uh, um, a uh, task. Uh, in, uh, in Ray. So essentially all it's doing is the, the Ray actor is asking for uh, one neuron core and it's just um, returning uh, what is the sort of the uh, neuron core reference on that particular instance as well as a, uh, neuro, uh, uh, a task uh, is also doing similar kind of thing. So it's a super simple example. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is actually an example of running Llama 2 uh, on Ray using uh, using uh, the AWS Custom Accelerator. So now I'm going to switch to uh, the demo. Uh, so here I have um, a, an example script uh, of running uh, Llama 2. Uh, oh, if I can switch uh, to the uh, demo, not the presentation. Uh, do I have to get out of presentation mode? Yeah. Oh, here we are. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Oh, cool. um, so let's blow it up a little bit. So here's an example of running. Uh, this is essentially a Llama 2 model uh, running on a RayServe cluster. And it's leveraging RayServe. Uh, and it's also using the Gradio app, if you're familiar with RayServe, uh, on this particular uh, cluster. So here you can see uh, the code. Uh, so we are uh, using a specific library that we've built for optimizing LLMs. It's called Transformers Neuron X. Uh, so you can see that in the import statement here, uh, we're using this particular library that we've built. This really optimizes LLM performance. It includes things like KV caching, uh, bucketing, quantization, con parallel context encoding to make your LLMs inference go really, really fast. So it uses a very uh, similar API to Hugging Face. If you're familiar with Hugging Face, you basically give it a reference to where your model weights are. Um, and then you define some extra parameters, such as things like uh, if you, we use tensor parallelism to really um, shard the model across different neuron cores to get the lowest lat latency possible. So in our code, uh, we're doing things such as we're loading our weights uh, into the model. Um, and then we are defining how we're going to run this particular model. So this uh, line of code here um, that I'm highlighting uh, is showing uh, what is the batch size uh, that we want to uh, run our particular model inference on. Uh, it also defines the number of, uh, we call this TP degree, the tensor parallelism degree. So how we're going to shard the model across the various uh, neuron cores. And then we have uh, a line here which is actually compiles the model. Uh, so we're a compile-driven uh, platform. Uh, this allows us to get the best performance of those things such as fusing operators um, uh, and various other optimization techniques to get the best performance possible. 
So this is what the uh, two uh, neuron uh, call will do. And then when we're actually doing the inference, it's just calling this uh, sample method, uh, which is uh, basically we're explaining how many, uh, what's the sequence length, what's the maximum sequence length we're going to return. Uh, and it's using top K, so it's um, giving the top K parameter. Uh, so this is uh, essentially the uh, example. Uh, so what we can do is open up so hopefully you can see this is just a Gradio app here. Uh, it's just taking in an input prompt and it's going to return. Uh, we're using the Llama 2 uh, chat uh, model. So we can just select uh, one of the uh, example prompts and click submit. And this is the output that the model's returned. Uh, so what you can actually do is actually see the neuron cause in action. Uh, so I'm going to just create another terminal here. We're going to run this neuron top command. So neuron top is essentially a way to analyze all of the neuron cores. So I'm actually running on a Trainium uh, instance. A Trainium instance has 16 accelerators and 32 neuron cores. And you can see here all the bars showing uh, utilization of those 32 cores uh, in this particular, uh, on this particular instance. So I'm going to just run this example again and we can see uh, the neuron cores in action. So let's just take a different prompt. And hopefully you can see at the end, you can see the, uh, the neuron cores were all activated because we're actually sharding this model across all of the 32 neuron cores. And this will give us the lowest uh, latency possible. So let's just take another example prompt. Hopefully you'll see it. So you can see the, uh, each neuron core was, you know, you can, was activated as we're doing this inference. Let's just do another one. So yeah, so uh, that's uh, a quick demo of uh, the, um, uh, yeah, showing you how to run Ray uh, with uh, AWS Purpose Board Accelerators, that's AWS Training and AWS Inferentia. Um, yeah, I'm here for the rest of the day, uh, and also my colleagues, so feel free to come and have a chat to us. And yeah, uh, we'll be excited to see what you guys can build uh, using uh, AWS and Ray. Thanks so much.